All right, Jamie, we'll see you then. Happening today, the 113th annual Annie Malone May Day Parade is returning to downtown St. Louis. Of course, it is one of the oldest and biggest parades in the area. And Fox 2 Stephanie Rothman is joining us live this morning where a lot's going on, starting with a pre-party before the parade later. Stephanie, good morning. Good morning, Laura. Yes, the sun has risen up. We've seen a couple of employees come here to the Annie Malone offices. They're going to be setting up for a 1030 pre-show and pep rally to happen here at the Annie Malone offices. Then soon after that show, they will move it to the parade route downtown, which starts at Market and Compton. That will be at 1 p.m. So a big and very important day for a lot of people here in St. Louis. As many know, the Annie Malone May Day Parade is a St. Louis tradition. It's the oldest African-American parade in the nation, with more than 3,500 people taking part in it. This year's theme is connecting physical and mental health, which is very important because they help the Children and Family Services, which then helps nearly 500 children and parents per year. Programs include crisis management, therapeutic education, community-based programming, and youth substance abuse prevention and treatment. And organizers tell us the security for the event this year is going to be beefed up. We always have lots of police presence at the May Day Parade, but we have taken the extra step and hired some uh, private security as well, just to ensure the safety of people that want to come and spectate for the parade and come and attend the parade and bring the kids that extra layer of security for them. And that helps a lot of people reassure their safety and their minds when they're coming out here today. And just so you know, we are a proud sponsor of this event every year. So if you come out and out, say hi to all of our colleagues who are going to be in Corvettes as well as our storm runner. Make sure to give a wave and a smile because we are happy to be a part of this as we are every year. Reporting in the Ville, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.